The benefit for our students is while they're here on clinical placement, be they allied health, um, medicine or nursing students, they're really able to utilise simulation to support their learning at the point of where they really need to show that they're competent practitioners. So while they may have had some access to some simulation earlier on in their course at university level, it really brings it to the real world for them while they're here. So they have the opportunity to do some activities such as basic life support with scenarios which is much more real like than just doing the basic training. They also can do particular skills, they can work with mannequins and task trainers and also we use simulated patients who are actually real people who come in and simulate a very authentic real learning situation for students. These can be adults or children or families and we have community and simulator patients coming in to work with our students in interprofessional teams in our student teaching clinics. My name is Jodie, I'm the simulation educator based here at WACRA, so I actually work here in the EdSim Centre and part of my role is to take students who come on placement here through simulation. So one of the main things that I do is I do basic life support but with a twist. As you would deal with um, clients in a day-to-day -day basis, you actually have to engage and communicate with the sim patient, like you would if you're meeting your client for the first time, taking an assessment. But then something might potentially go wrong, so you may need to incorporate the training that we've done previously into that practice. And that's the feedback we get from all the students that have done it, is how well it actually feels and, and what they would feel like if that situation was actually to happen. So here in the EdSim Centre we actually have a computer system or what we call the REACH system. So this is the capabilities for us to film any simulations that happen up here. So it might be the fact of the basic life support or one of our PEDS clinics. And we actually then can film that and then play it back in a debrief at the end of the session. So the students actually get to see how they participate in certain areas, how they communicate or what their team works like and they can actually see that in real time and they can then put that into practice um, if they are to deal with that situation again. Some of the other things that I get to do here is I get to work with the mannequins which students get exposed to. It could be our ALS mannequin, it could be our baby or our paediatric mannequin. So depending on what sort of skills we're teaching, you guys might get exposed to a whole different range of different things as well as task trainers. We're very fortunate at WACRA to have this great facility at EdSim Centre where we can provide students and health professionals in the community the opportunity to learn clinical skills, communication skills, teamwork in a simulated environment. Simulation gives the opportunity to really support students learning in a very safe environment where we can set up very authentic real to life situations that they can practice skills and put those skills in place in the community.